Amen. 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 And ask for a volunteer to read Article 41, Section 2 and 3. Article 41, Section 2 and 3. It, is, it shall be the duty of each member to render aid and assistance to sibling me members in the case of illness, death, or distress in every way equip themselves <laughs> as a loyal and devoted member of the International U Union. It, is, it shall be the duty of each member to participate in all local, state, pro provocal, and federal elections through registration and balloting local article 41 section two and three thank you for that scott and we move on for our uh chaplain c conference call tonight we will introduce our dear sister from international cynthia harris good evening I I'd like to bring you greetings from President Sean Fain, Vice President, Director Chuck Browning, and the entire International Executive Board. Uh, we thank you for all that you do. Uh, in Jerry Carson's absence, our most recently retiree, i just like to say uh, blessings to each one of you chaplains. God bless you. And thank you for that, Cynthia. Moving on to introducing Herb Taylor. Hey, I have a special guest. Uh, I'm going to introduce to you guys. Um, her name is Natalie. Uh, she's raised in a family here, and uh, she's married, and she told me she could sing. I heard her children sing, and I believe she can sing. And you know we're always promoting the Joshuas, and what a fitting time to promote a Joshua. So Natalie, uh, this is the chaplain. Do what you do. I was loved and I need to his love, his love, his love, I'm a child of God, yes I am. He has ransomed his grace to us. Why was it slave to sin to die? Oh, yes, he died for me. Oh, the sun set Oh, it's free. I'm a child of Yes, I am. In my father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. I am golden. 
Let's give her a good God bless you. Yes. Could y'all hear her? Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. That was beautiful, Natalie. Beautiful. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And we're that gonna the voice of an angel. The voice of an angel, Jerry Carson. And well, let's do this um uh before we turn it over to Pete. Jerry Carson first official duty would be praying for this Joshua and her husband. Come on, David. Come on. Y'all get in the screen. Jerry Carson, uh, we're putting him to work. Why would I ask you to find my Joshua's if you're not gonna use them? So we just used the Joshua. Her husband is standing next to her. Uh, I think they in the screen. Anyway, Brother Carson, could you render a prayer for this family? Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Father. You're an amazing God. You're on time all the time. <clears throat> and you brought this angel this, that has the voice of an angel that is singing your praises. And she sang that she's a child of God. That's who we all are. We're your children, your people. And we thank you, Father, for bringing her and her husband to chaplaincy to enlarge chaplaincy to enlarge the kingdom going out and making disciples and encouraging others and sharing the good news of the true and living god that loves us beyond our comprehension <laughs> we won't know about the depth of that love until we get home but we do know that you love us so much that you gave your only begotten son. He endured much for us. And I'm just thanking you, Father, for bringing this angel to chaplaincy and those that you bring across her path to be encouraged. We ask you, Father, for a chaplaincy to continue to reach out and meet the Joshua's that are out in the, in the places of work in our union so that they can be part of uplifting the people doing the great commission and making a difference in people's lives where they need a kind word, a smile, a beautiful song, in a beautiful spirit to come across them and it causes them to say what's peculiar about this person and they get to know them and engage them and they get an opportunity to be here about your goodness father we just thank you <clears throat> father for all that you're doing you are the miracles are happening we see them right before our eyes and we just heard it in that praise song we pray to you, Father, that your continued anointing will be on each and every one that in that is out busy about your business and uplifting and encouraging, and those that are just coming in that are seeking to hear the truth in the living word. We just say, Father, we pray that we never miss an opportunity to, to sing your praises and share the goodness of you. We pray, Father, all these things in the name of your precious and holy son's name, our amazing Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Brother God. Hey, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, Natalie. Hey, Natalie, close that for me. Close that. Um, here's what's happening. I'm here at the sitting in your mission on the shelf. And this family has been going through. 
the father three weeks ago, his son was shot and killed. So what we did today through his wife was his suggestion for some relief. Because the toughest part has yet to come. But for the chaplains to be in place on a holiday, for Brother Herb to be even here at the mission on a Monday, is all God ordained. His yeah. plan was for us today to show some love to a family that's struggling. And you don't know just what this young man, I mean, as Jerry, as you were praying, tears is just dropping on the floor. And the three kids are disciplined enough to hear their mom and dad say, stay in the room until mom and dad come back. I'm, how, how much love is that? That's a lot of love. And we yeah. were in play. Yes. The UAW chaplaincy chaplains were in place to render what? Aid and assistance. And assistance. Yeah. Yes. To our sibling <clears throat> member in the cases of illness, death, and destruction. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. I want to thank Sister Sharon. Uh, she's recording this. And I want to thank um, Sister Harris for the introduction of our offices. So I'm turning it now over to Brother Pete. Pete, top of the afternoon. Thank you. Well, Elder Herb set me up a little yes. bit. He told <clears throat> when he uh, made the schedule out, he said it was a special Labor Day edition. I thought he had something special in mind. Attorney just oh, set me up. <laughs> That's all right, though. I'm gonna. Be, I'll, I'll make it a special Labor Day edition. I'm sorry. Eight one six. Okay. So Labor Day, we know is. We should, as UAW members, should know that it's more than just a holiday or an end of the summer vacation. It's um. It's a day that we show gratitude for the past and present laborers that have fought for our cause and made our union what it is. For the for the people that started in Flint, Michigan and sat down um, all the way up till today and everything that's happened in between. Um, I would like first thing I'd like to share, I'd like to share a prayer by Walter Ruther that uh, Pastor or, or Elder Herb shared at the 38th um uh, UAW Constitutional Convention. Um, this is from Walter Ruther originally. Father of all men, give us the wisdom to know what is right and the strength to do what is right. Unite all people in the solidarity of human brotherhood and enrich them with the splendor of human diversity. Light the way so, may, so truth may guide us and we may find our way through the danger and difficulties of hatred, misunderstanding, and war. He's also quoted as saying, there is no greater calling than to serve your fellow man. There's no greater contribution than to help the weak. And there's no greater satisfaction than to have done it well. <clears throat> and so, I could I I uh, my point to that tonight is the labor movement movement hasn't and cannot continue to survive without so solidarity and social justice. And so I took that and I looked into the Bible to see where where that all where that all comes from. Um, it, it roots in a word called sedu. Sed, see if I can say it right. Seduka, seduka which is a Hebrew word that means uh, solidarity, and it comes from a word sadak, which means justice. So in essence, it means justice and solidarity. Moreover, it means the reinstating of your fellow man's right to live with dignity. 
<clears throat> so helping those in need. Um, I, I took all this from, uh, I'm, I should cite my source. I took all this from Sadaka.org, which is a Jewish, a Jewish foundation formed to support people living in bad conditions in Argentina. And that's where I borrowed this, uh, this uh, uh, definition from. So thus, so reinstating your fellow man's right to live with dignity, thus helping those in need is not an act of kindness, but one of moral obligation. In Judaism, poverty is not an exorable curse. Its increase or decrease will depend on human beings' will and on their way and on the way their society is organized. Insensitivity towards poverty is a very serious omission. It's not just a material matter. It has deeper implications. And then they go on to share from uh, Deuteronomy 15. <clears throat> for starting in verse 7. If there's any among you... A if there's any among you a poor man of your brethren within any of the gates in your land, which the Lord your God is giving you, you shall, not, you shall not harden your heart, nor shut your hand from your poor brother, but you shall open your hand wide to him and willingly lend him sufficient for his need, whatever his needs. Beware lest there be a wicked thought in your heart saying, the seventh year, the year of release is at hand, and your eye will be e and your eye will be evil against your poor brother, and you giving him nothing, and he cry out to, to the Lord against you, and it become a sin among you. You shall surely give to him, and your heart should not be grieved when you give it to him, because for this thing the Lord your God will bless you in all your works and in all which you put to, you put your hand. For the poor will never cease from the land. Therefore, I command you, saying, you shall open your hand wide to your brother, to your to your poor and your needy in your land. And I wanted to make a point that uh, in verses 8 and 11 that I shared there, he said both times to open our hands wide, to give generously. And a, di and a warning, a discipline to us in verse 10 that our hearts should not be grieved when we give. And I mean, this is more than just in our union. This is in our, this is, you know, our, our union should spill over into our local communities. And we, you know, we should have a hand in that as well. Yes. Sir. And we should help our brothers up and out of poverty. You know, that goes back to, that's just what I was saying about reinstating your fellow man's right to live with dignity. There's no greater calling to serve our fellow man. And we see it in our churches. We see it in our communities. When organizations read out, reach out to help the needy, sometimes that help is even secondhand. In other words, sometimes a company or organization will donate to another company so they can do the feeding, so they can reach out, so they can be the hands. And that's just as that's just as as well. Not everybody can be the hands, but you can supply the hands if you can't be the hands. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I'll use my church for an example. We have. We have uh, several, um, well, there's a couple stores and there's a couple organizations that donate to our church because our church has a food bank and our church has a soup kitchen. They can't do that themselves. Like they don't have a kitchen. They don't have a place to organize a food bank or the people to do it, but they support ours. So in essence, they're still doing, the, they're still doing the same work. They're just doing it one step back. And we're, we, you know, we are very, you know, in, in turn, the the poor in our, we have we have several homeless in our in our uh, area. Actually, they're actually right now they are camped out outside. They they they've camped out for the summer just a couple blocks away from my from uh, my church. And that's you know that's yeah. that's what our church does to reach out. That that's solidarity. That's solid. Yeah. You know, our solidarity should spill over from our union into our community. Mm. Uh, I'd also like to share from First Peter 4, starting with verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. And above all things, have fervent love for one another. For love cover, will cover a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without grumbling. As we each one has received a gift to minister 
it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies, that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. 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 The ancient church, as are we, was called to share and care for each other, to be hospitable to each other, to serve each other, and to minister to one another. And this is how they showed solidarity, and this is how they showed, showed social justice, and we can as well. Um, as I was preparing this, my, I, I was uh, chatting with my wife, and um, she, cho she uh, reminded me to add that we are co-laborers with Christ. Um, 1 Corinthians 3, 9 through 11, for we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field. You are God's building. According to the grace of God, which was given to me, Paul is speaking, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another builds on it. But let each one take heed how he builds on it. For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. And I think most of you know where this came from, but Paul was settling an argument because some people were siding with Paul and some people were siding with Apollos. And um, Paul pointed out that, hey, Paul, that Paulus and I are both fellow workers and that we're, you know, we're building God's building. We're building the church. And, um, you know, we, we're all in this together. There's not one over the other. Ephesians 2.10 says that we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Uh, let's see. My wife also reminded me that the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few, right? When he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion. I'm reading, I'm sorry, I'm reading from Matthew 9. Uh, when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion for them because they were weary and scattered like sheep having no shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest truly is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. I like how he used the term laborers. That, sh that should remind us of something. Because that's us. That's how we humbly serve our fellow man. Solidarity. Solidarity and, and serving isn't always a popular choice either. Sometimes we, we have to remember who we serve and who we serve first. And we must keep things in that divine order. And serve him, serve God with all our hearts. And I think I'd be I think I'd be out of the I'd be out of order if I didn't bring it back to Joshua, since we are this is Joshua night, but Joshua 22 5 says. Take, but take care, careful heed to do the commandment and the law which Moses, the servants of the Lord, commanded you to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to keep his commandments, to hold fast to him, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. How's that, Elder, Elder Herb? Hey, man, that is perfect. Um, um, come on, let's celebrate the message. Good message, Pete. Thank you. The message, Kelly. Amen. 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 Very, very good. Man. But I kept, I kept, I kept drifting um, to Kelly. Um, we are going to offer a prayer for Kelly. Um, one of the reasons we're going to do this now is because the family has been under attack. Mm -hmm. I've been crying for the family because Pete says something about he have been struggling with COVID I did. while trying to care for his wife, mm. who is still in uh, the Ark of Covenant. God got you. Yeah. But the enemy don't care that God got you. He don't. He trying to take Kelly. 
And that responsibility is going to lie on us. Because we're standing in the gap right now. Yeah. Thank you, Sister Kelly. And uh, Cynthia Harris, could you take a moment and go as God leads you to encourage this child and pray for her, please? Yes, sir. Father God, we love you. God, we praise you. Oh, Lord, we magnify your name, Lord. God, this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, on today, God, we lift up Brother Pete and his family. Father God, you know what they're standing in need of, God. God, we just thank you for your son, Jesus, that you sent to this earth to live and to die for us. For Father God, we know that every strike that he received, it was for our healing. And God, on tonight, we claim the victory in both of their bodies, God, that they are healed. And we just say thank you in advance. Thank Lord, you, Lord, we thank you, God, for what you're doing in their lives. We thank you for all that you've done. And God, we thank you, Lord, for all that we know that you're going to do. Father God, we know that you have put this couple together, God, and we know that there is nothing that can separate them, not even an illness, and we just want to say thank you. Yes. We thank you for each and every one that's on this call tonight, Father God, and we pray that if there is any sickness among any of them, God, that you will heal them, God, in the name of yes, Jesus. Lord. God, yes, we Lord. thank you, God, for your leadership we thank you god for all that you've done and we just want to say thank you god and we love thank you. you lord father god continue to watch over them and their family their son nathan their other children god and we just thank you god for what you're doing in their lives we thank you in advance for the healing that you've already done Hallelujah. we thank you for the thank leaders you, over this chaplaincy department father god and we yeah. pray god for this department, God, that you would oh, have hallelujah. it to be all that you have called it to be. We thank yes, you Lord. for all of the labor unions. We thank you for this day, God, that has thank been you, set Lord. aside, God, hallelujah. for the workers of this world. And God, we just say thank you. We thank, thank you, God, you, for putting Brother Pete into our lives and his wife, yes. God. We just thank you, God. And Father God, we know that no weapon that is formed against yes. them, us, they, we, us, All right. will not yes. prosper, God. Yes. Lord, it may no form, way. but it will not prosper. We thank yeah. you, God. And thank we ask you, all of these blessings, God, in your darling son's Jesus' name do we pray. Yes, Solidarity Lord. forever. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 Ken yes, Thomas, can you render a prayer? Hey, something is happening. Something is happening in the atmosphere. Ken yes. Thomas, help us out. Oh, we come before you right now. Just a blessing just to see these brothers and sisters. Just how you ordained them to be here tonight. We just ask you cover us all, each one of us, and our sister, dear sister Kelly, Lord, just uh, how she's opened my eyes and the situations going on in my own life and just the wisdom and knowledge that you've given her. Father, just strengthen that family, give Pete the strength that he needs to endure during this time. <clears throat> and we just ask you touch. Our prayer is that you touch Kelly and heal her, Lord. And Lord, we know whatever the outcome is, we just stand and trust in you. And I just want to yeah. praise for every single one that's on this call, Lord. And just the attack. I just, you know, when we're doing good, we know that we need to stand strong. And you got our back. You, no matter what happens, the circumstances, yeah. we just need to keep our eyes on you. Keep our faith in the word. Keep our trust in you because you have the answer. You are the answer for this world today. Above them, there is no other. Jesus, you are the way. We just want to lift you up. I lift everyone up that whatever circumstances they're going through, nothing's too small or big for God. So, yeah. Father, we just lift every single situation up. We lift every single person up to you right now. And we do this on this special day that we honor those who labor in this country. And, Father, we yeah. do this in solidarity. And we lift it all up to you. And we all stand in agreement. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Glory Praise be God. Amen. 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 If there be any consolation in Christ, if there be any joy in the Spirit, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, the same mind, being on one accord. Somehow I realized a long time ago, God knew what solidarity was all about. Mm -hmm. And he allowed us to have this day set aside. For one purpose, that we be like man, having the same love, mm -hmm. the same mind, being on one accord and letting nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than yourselves. That's what solidarity is. Amen. That's what this union means to us. We can disagree without being disagreeable. But right now, Kelly, your healing is around the corner. Yes. It's getting ready to knock on your door. Yeah. God is dispatching angels right now because we are on one accord. Amen. Yes. We have left the 99. Yeah. We have yes. seen and heard an angel of mercy say, yes. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Thank you, Jesus. That's who we are. Thank you. And if we are a child of God, then somewhere you got to be my sibling members. So I'm leaving 99. Mm. And I'm talking to my sibling members. Yeah. It's right around the corner, getting ready to knock on your door. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We claim healing in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. The love that your husband displayed mm -hmm. while he was stricken with COVID testifies that yes. no weapons formed against this family Hallelujah. can prosper. No weapon. No. Not COVID. No mm -hmm. weapon. Mm -hmm. Yes. No Thank weapon. You, Lord. Thank you. Glory to God. Yes. That's love. Hallelujah. And the chaplains are now on a mission to hear the praise report that's going to come from you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Kelly, we love you. God loves you. Yes. Anthony Walker, help me out. What I'm trying to say. Talk to them. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. May God yeah. put his grace and mercy over all our children and grandchildren. Just put mm -hmm. us, put his, his strength and love around all of us. Just protect us through these hard and difficult times. But we are the one because we all coming together trying to pray as one, trying to do all we can do to get to a better health and a better life. And I know mm -hmm. we all go through struggles that we don't say on this call, but just know that we serve a God that sits high and sits low, but he's come always on. in the gap. Dear Heavenly Hallelujah. Father, we come thanking you and loving you, giving you thanks on this wonderful and beautiful day on this negotiated holiday for the UAW. But we, once again, this chaplaincy show up and show out every time. Never take a day off, never take a rest. Mm -hmm. Once again, I'd just like to thank these chaplains on this call. Let's like to thank Brother Pete. That was a powerful 
message and it was doing, doing the labor of what we're talking about. May your wife be healed and you be healed. Brother yeah. Ken Thomas, yeah. may things, whatever going on in your life, continue to pray your way out. Key word, yeah. pray your way out. And on this chaplaincy call, that's what we do. We pray. Sometimes we sit in silence on this call and just rock back and forth because we're yeah. in agreement with what God has yeah. for us. Dear Heavenly Father, continue to bless and guide and love and lead over these chaplains. Dear Heavenly yeah. Father, continue to keep your grace and mercy over all of us and our children and our grandchildren, the seen yeah. and foreseen. Dear Heavenly Father, I come thanking you, thanking you and Thank loving you. Thank you, Lord. In your proud, proud, precious son's name, Jesus, I love you. Amen. 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 When you have a good meal, sometimes you want to eat more. Mm. And um, we're going to have another prayer by Sister Connie Bobby because God say pray for Kelly. And I yeah. know what you brought to this uh, chaplaincy. Um, you have done so much for us. That I know the enemy is coming. We know that. So we're going to do this. Connie's going to pray for you specifically for your healing. Yeah. We're claiming it in the name of yeah. Jesus. But we want to put some icing on the cake. We want to make the enemy let him know we know you're yeah. always there, but we ain't going nowhere either. Well, Help us out. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord God, giving you praise and giving you honor and giving you glory, Father. We come before you lifting up our sister Kelly, Heavenly Father. Father, we come before you thanking you for the gift within her, Lord God. We thank, thank you, Lord you, God, Lord. for all that she has done for Chapel City, Heavenly Father. We thank yeah. you, Lord God, that your healing anointing abide upon Kelly, Lord God. Yeah. That there is a destruction of everything that Satan has yeah. tried to wreck against her in, in the name of Jesus. It must. Yeah. It must be ceased in the name yes. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the Hallelujah. Name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It must be ceased now. Now. In the name now, of Jesus. God. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Give you glory, Lord God. Yes. Thank you, Lord God, that you're here for the Lord God. Yes. Lord God, your strength was in her spirit, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you get the glory upon her, God. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God. We thank you for your presence, Lord God. Yeah. For yeah. Your presence is the fullness of joy. A body, soul, and spirit, Lord God. We give yeah. you all the honor for you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God, for your goodness, for your mercy. We give you thank the you, glory. Lord. Hallelujah, 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 Glory yes. to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 It is. So. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, yes, it is. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. For your name. Thank Hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Glory Hallelujah. Glory, glory, yes. glory, glory, glory. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere I hear the word of God saying it is mighty through God. Yes. yes. It is mighty through me. Mm. Yes. It is mighty through God to the pulling down yes. of strongholds. Oh, yes. yeah. Come on, Pastor Miller. Come on, Pastor Miller. God is getting ready to use you. Come on, come on, come on. Amen. God bless all my siblings. Amen. Let us go before the throne of God. 
Hallelujah. I heard a song says there is a fountain that's filled with blood that flows from Emmanuel's vein. That the sinner plunge beneath that flood and lose all our guilt and shame. Lord, we love you today. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank you because you have allowed us to enter into the family of God. We thank yes. you, God, for saving us and for delivering us from the hand of the enemy. God, we praise you because you're worthy to be praised. From the rising yes. of the sun to the going down of the same, your name is to be praised. God, beside you, there is no other. And we do know that our help and our strength comes from you. So, God, I'm praying that there is a healing touch that needs that is needed right now, God. Healing is the children's bread. I pray in the That's name right. of Jesus that you will send your healing like the woman that pressed through the crowd on her knees, got down yeah. and said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I know that everything I need is right at the hem of the garment. God, as we bombard heaven on behalf of our siblings, brothers and sisters, God, we're asking that you will send your healing anointing, God, that you will overshadow us, overtake us, God. Bless us now, God. We stand in need of a miracle. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We believe you, God. You're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. There is no shortcomings with you, God. Your ears are not too heavy that you cannot hear, nor your arms too short that you cannot deliver. God, stop the enemy in his tracks right now in the yes, name now. of Jesus. Dry up all sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. God, we yes. believe you for a miracle. We trust you for a miracle, God. We trust you for a healing right now, God. Heal us as a whole that we can rejoice in the miracle that's about to take place. God, we just rejoice saying thank you for allowing us to wake up and be a part of this great UAW chaplaincy. Thank you, God, thank you for allowing thank us to you, proclaim Jesus. your name in the workplace, in the community, in the world. Thank God, you. thank you for allowing us to carry your word to those yes. who are without hope and without strength. God, we thank you for using us in yes. a time like this Hallelujah. to come to turn their souls. So I ask God that yes, you would just God. lift up every bow down head. Everyone is going through yes. something. Let them go through. Don't let them get stuck. God, let them go through knowing that you will bring them out. Yes. Truly hold on yes. and trust and never doubt. God, you are a present help. My hold God, down. you're a present help Hallelujah. in the time of trouble. It's not that we get in trouble yes. and you say, uh-oh, I got to get them out, but you're already there. Hallelujah. We make the choice to make down. the decision to get in trouble. You say, if you follow me, I'll get you out of the trouble. So God, be the Hallelujah. present help in the time of trouble right now, and we claim victory right now, in Jesus' name. Amen, in and thank Jesus. God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to we're going to rejoice in the Lord. Um, you know, um, Pete asked me. Um, was there a change in the lineup? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when we sit before the Lord and we pan yeah. things, I, I, I realize we put on the, the uh, lineup of special announcement. But I do have an announcement. Jesus is a yes. healer. Yes, yes, he, he is. is. Spiritual work. Yes, he yeah. is. Hallelujah. He's a miracle work, a way Yes, he is. By his, this Where is, is the <laughs> By his stripes, uh -huh. healed. we are healed. 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 Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, is Thank you. Something you're trying to say. Kelly's <laughs> on on mute. She's on mute. That's okay. So sorry. Something you're trying to say, Kelly. <laughs> First of all, I just want to say thank you for all your prayers and and your support. They're genuinely yeah. felt, genuinely appreciated. Um, yeah, yeah, be the glory. One of the things that I've really been having to learn through this is. The scripture says, be still and know hmm. that I am God. God has put me in a position where I'm forced to be still mm -hmm. um, because of the surgery. But knowing God from the knowledge perspective is not enough. It's knowing God on a deeper level from the heart perspective that is needed. Yeah, And that's, <clears throat> and that's part of what... I'm going through. Um, 
God's really been telling me that I'm not, I am, the world uses a phrase all the time and I had struggled with this phrase forever and I couldn't figure out why. And I've even um, spoke on it before, but one of the phrases that is used commonly in the world is a diamond in the rough. Mm -hmm. That means you're waiting to be found. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you're but you're not waiting to be found because you're already a diamond and he's going to take you through the rough. And I have to be, and I have to be in the position to receive, get it from here and get it here and have it stick and have it stay and have (laughs) it grow and root out whatever needs to be rooted out that has been thwarting that. And I think we all come to places in our lives where we realize God's asking for more. Yeah. Yeah. But what he really just wants is our heart. He's not asking us to do more. He's not asking us to go more. He's not asking us to stay more. He's asking whole heart. Whole heart. Mm. Not your whole Whole. head. Your whole heart. And this has been a painful process I'm gonna say it (laughs) um because it's always been conditional my whole life and trying to really embrace God's unconditional love has always been hard and now he's got me in a position where I'm kind of you gotta sit you gotta stay Mm -hmm. you you can't move till I tell you to move you can't go till I tell you to go and um so I'm learning, and I'm yeah. still here to talk about it. So Thank God. we continue to grow. Yeah. Glory to God. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Yes. Thank okay. you, Lord. We serve no one before his time. Amen. Uh, He gets you to this point, like he gets us to a certain all of us. Yeah, yeah. Must get to a certain place. Yeah. For the master to complete what he's trying to do. Yes. He's looking for something without spot or wrinkles. Or wrinkles. Yeah. You're being prepared for the master, Sister Kelly. And uh, he don't care how he get us there. Uh-huh. You ain't no different than Jonah. He'll use whatever is necessary to get us there. And to hear you say, it got to come from here to hear it. It got to be in your soul. Because somebody said, when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done done for me, my soul. Yes, it does. Not my mind. But my soul, what does it do? It cries out. Yes. Come on, can y'all help me cry out for a minute? Let's cry out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My soul. Hallelujah. My soul. My soul. My soul. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then the writer says, I thank God for saving me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. This this uh, spirit named Glory. Glory, I, I may know you, I may not know you, but I feel you. Amen. I'm going to say a word of prayer. We, we're going to close in a minute, but God has particularly uh, placed you here for this moment, Glory. Amen. So let him use you. I don't know nothing about you, except I know that God is getting ready to use you. Help Amen. us out, Sister Glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we Hallelujah. Thank you. Father, we praise you. Father, we honor you. Father, we Hallelujah. lift you up on high, for you are worthy, worthy to be praised. Father, we bless your name, oh God. We yes. bless you Hallelujah. High, for you are the first and the last, the beginning and the end. You are yes. our Alpha and the Omega, oh God. You are our lily of the valley, our rose and shear, and our bright morning star. And we honor you today, oh God. Yes. We Hallelujah. We praise us because you are worthy of all of our praise. Yes. And we thank you today, oh God. Thank I you, thank Lord. thank you for yes. everyone on this call, Father God. I thank you yes. for my sister Kelly and thank my husband Pete. I thank you for each and every one being yes. a light in dark places, oh God. But mm -hmm. you think we are a city that sits on the hill, oh God. And your light in us, Father, it cannot be hidden. I thank you yes. for keeping yes. every yes. one of our lights so shining, oh God. Lord, yes. for thank your you. divine will to be done in all of our lives that we may share yes. with others, oh God. Those that are sick, Father God, you said, let the sick, let, let the weak say I'm strong, let the sick say yes. I'm healed and made Hallelujah. whole. But you was wounded for our transgressions. You were yeah. bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement yeah. of our peace was upon you. And with your stripes, we are healed and made yes. whole. Hallelujah. Oh, thank yes. you today. Thanks be unto thank God. Thank you, Lord. Always causes us to thank triumph. You. Thank you for more testimonies. Thank you for more thank more you. messages, oh God. Thank you, Father God. Lord, to glorify yeah. you in this place today, God. Thank you for each and every one. Thank and whatever you. we're all going through, Father God, the whole thing is we're going through. You never leave us, nor do you forsake us. Like Thank you left you. the Hebrew voice in that burning flame, there was one more left in there. It was three. Thank the you. man looked in and seen it was four. You are with Hallelujah. us always, Jesus. And we thank you for it every thank each you. and every day, all day. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus name. Amen and thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, thank you. Amen. Thank, Thank you, you Elder, Jesus. for allowing me to pray. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Who are you? Hallelujah. Who are you? I'm Gloria from uh Region One Local Local 51. Uh I am uh New Joshua. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And it's a blessing new, new, to be on this call jo and an honor to be amongst. All you so a new, a new Joshua on the call, <laughs> the number five and the number one, oh, yeah. <laughs> fulfill the confirmation. Hey. Yeah. When the Lord says to me, you, why would I tell you to find my Joshua's mm. if you weren't going to use them? That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you. Five Amen. and the one. We've been healed. Sister Kelly, we're just waiting on the uh, people to say you heal. We claim yes. it in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus. A lot of times we just need to just flow and walk in the spirit. Amen. Yes. And what Thank is you, happening Lord. today, Brother oh, Pete, you brought an Ursula in solidarity. We are union people. We are labor-minded mm -hmm. people. Yeah. Even from the foundation of the world, yeah. God labored for seven days to bring it to pass. And yes. every day, this is what he says, Sister Connie. And the Lord saw his work 
and he saw mm. it was good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what God does, good. God does, this is good. Amen. Yes, amen. I think that's what it said. Amen to that. Bible that says that yeah. in the evening and the morning, or the morning and the evening was the third day, and he looked out and it said, was, It was there. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yes, amen. Amen. Glory to God. And I yes. thank y'all today because y'all. Y'all bless me by allowing two clients that is struggling. And we left for a moment to attend to their needs. Jerry yeah. heard a hummingbird sing. I'm a child of God. Yeah. Yes, I am. Amen. That's who we are. Never forget it. Amen. Amen. He's for us. He's not against us. Yes, he is. So let us go to Genesis. Let us go to Genesis mm -hmm. and read what he said, not what I said. I believe mm -hmm. he said when he looked out and he divided the waters from the land. It is good. Yes, yes it is. Hallelujah. Uh, so all I say in closing for the night is I'm turning over to Pete for our <laughs> closing prayer. Pete, Kelly, we love you guys. And yes. uh, what a what a what a mighty God we see. We yes, say, we love Brother you. Pete. Brother Pete, mm -hmm. close us out. Uh, Lord, we thank you. We thank, thank you. you Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness you poured out upon us, Father, for the labors you poured into us, Father, so we can pour into others, Lord. Lord, not just at our shop, Father, but in their community around us, Lord. Lord, that we can lead with our hearts, Father, because we're leading with your heart, Father. We can be a testimony that um, our lives would be living testimonies to those around us. Lord, that people would seek us out, Father, because they, they see you in us, Father, and they see you in our yeah. actions. Lord, I pray that we would be sought out. I pray that your truth would be uh, would be shared, Father, not in just in word, Father, but in deed and in action. Lord, I pray that we would touch lives around us, Father. Lord, I pray yes. that we would find we would find more Joshuas, Father. I pray that we would uh, take this chaplaincy chaplaincy committee and, and grow it even bigger. Lord, I pray yes, that we Lord. would grow it even younger, Lord. That uh, that the that the young people come in in our shops, Father, that their needs yes. would be met as well. Lord, I pray that the uh, people that have come in that have never seen or stepped foot in a church, Father, would would uh, would their their needs would be met, Father, and they would find an invitation to know who Jesus is, and yeah. they would know that by the by the light that we shine, Father, and the and the by our actions, Father, and by our reactions to things that happen. Lord, I pray that our our hearts would just be our our heart our lives, Father, would just be a living testimony before them, Lord. Yeah. Lord, I thank, thank you for you. all the blessings you've poured out tonight, Father, and that that and uh all the prayers that have been rendered tonight, Father, that they be answered, yeah. Lord. Yeah. I thank you, Lord, you're a good, good God and faithful. Yes, Amen. 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 God. Amen. Amen. Love everyone. Amen. We'll see you on Wednesday. God bless you all. Right. That's God be the Lord. God be the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Love you, siblings. God bless you. God bless you. Love you. God bless you. Love you. Love you. God bless you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Happy yeah. Labor Day, siblings. Yeah. Happy Labor Day. 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 And God bless everybody. God bless you. Powerful prayer, glory. Oh, thank you. Amen. God bless. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Cynthia. Thank you, Cynthia. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Cynthia. Yeah. Thanks, Cynthia. I'm on the phone, Cynthia. Thank you, Eugene. Hi, Sister Kenita. All right, baby. Okay. Uh, amen. God bless you all. God, God bless you. You as well. God bless you all as well. Good night. Good night, Good night everyone. Good night. Good night, good night. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gloria.